So, reputation in affirmations. I was skeptical about the idea that it might not work, that vaguely repeating like a parrot might not work. But I, I was wrong about it, but there is a caveat to this. And I've, I, I understood this by listening to a tape by Dr. Joseph Murphy. And that cleared a lot of things that I was doing all along, but I did not really understand it like this. But here it is. Uh, first, I will, I will just explain my, uh, my manifestation routine. I've made a video about it, but there's something that I call raising my vibration. And what I do is I just get into a sleepy state. I do it before sleep at night. So I'm already quite sleepy at that point. And what I do is I just walk around in my room or wherever there is very cozy and, you know, very sleep inducing, very, very calm place. And I just walk around in my room and, and I affirm. And the reason why this, ma ma this works is because I'm already very sleepy and I'm already very suggestive. I'm in that suggestive state. And the reason I got this, this certain, this uh, revelation or whatever you want to call it, is that how hypnot hypnotists control a perfectly mature and, you know, conscious person and turn him into a chicken or a Martian. I was, I was looking at a video on YouTube how, that how a, a hypnotist convinced a perfectly mature, capable and smart man to become a Martian. And he put him into a suggestive sleepy state. And the moment his conscious mind was out of it, he, he got controlled by the hypnotist and he turned him into a Martian and he was speaking gibberish and he believed himself to be a Martian. How is that? Here is the, here is the trick to it, which you are, you've already known by now, but not, maybe not this way. And Neville Goddard calls it the state akin to sleep. Why every, every subconscious tape or every teacher who is talking, teaching you to deliberate, to manifest deliberately and to, you know, uh, to change your life, why are they so focused on the state akin to sleep? The reason is simple. Your conscious mind is the biggest hindrance in manifesting your desires. It is as simple as that. And when we are affirming, when we are trying to visualize, whenever we are trying to, trying to do any process, if, if our conscious mind is chat, chattering and rejecting and putting up resistance, oh, this is not going to work. You're just wasting your time, blah, 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 blah. You're not affirming right. You're not visualizing right. It's not going to work. This resistance is what we need to remove. And the best way to remove is what? To put yourself into a sleepy, drowsy, suggestible state. This is what hypnotists do and they can make a perfectly capable smart man or a woman to become a chicken. How is that? You see the power of this state because your conscious mind is the guard dog. It is the guard dog that is guarding your subconscious mind. And this guard dog is good and bad at the same time. Good in a way that it protects you all day long from horrible suggestions of other people of your environment. Like somebody can say to you that you're not good enough. And if you're, if you have proper beliefs, if you are, uh, if you have a good self concept, you will reject that because your conscious mind will not accept it. But at the same time, this guard dog is the biggest hindrance in manifesting your life because it will reject a lot of good suggestion as well. Like I want, I am enjoying a lavish life. It will say, no, you're not. No, you're not. You are struggling financially. So what you do is you put the guard dog to sleep. You put the guard dog to sleep. And this is when repetition is absolutely going to nail your manifestation and it's going to work. It's going to happen. And you don't need to believe it either. Who needs to believe? Your conscious mind. Your subconscious mind does not need to believe. You don't need faith for your subconscious mind in a way that it, it, will, it does not really need faith or belief. If you can put the guard dog to sleep, which is your conscious mind. So if you are in a sleepy, drowsy state, 
that's all you gotta do you go you get into a sleepy drowsy state you go this is perfect before bed i've been doing it for a long time this way but uh by listening to the to the tape by dr joe joseph murphy it it finally clicked that why was he so focused on putting you into a meditative state whenever he would talk about reprogramming your subconscious mind he would tell you to do it either waking after waking up you're already in sleepy state or doing before sleep the all of the greats of who have talked about uh, changing your belief system your destiny in mastering reality they all talk about this state the reason is quite simple the guard dog that is the biggest hindrance in manifesting your dreams is your conscious mind and when you put it to sleep you can literally manifest even the outlandish things that you cannot believe right now so belief is not necessary faith is not necessary and repetition in in this way is absolutely perfect you get into a sleepy drowsy state either uh, before sleep or waking up and you repeat your affirmation like a parrot here so repeating like a parrot is beneficial to you why because your conscious mind has very little resistance the resistance is the problem it's not the repetition that that is the problem it's the resistance in your day when you're fully awake and you're affirming your conscious mind completely effectively jumps in and says no that's a lie i don't believe it but when you're dream when you are in a sleepy drowsy state no belief is required i i i i can't stress this enough belief is not necessary when you apply it like this so whatever your affirmation is like i am enjoying a lavish steady dependable income and neville goddard puts it in a lullaby method that you concise you make it concise like just three words the reason why it's easy to repeat so in this way repetition is the key so what you want to do is you want to make your affirmation small like i isn't it wonderful or i am earning a lavish steady dependable income or i am rich i am abundant i am wealthy and you just want to repeat it over and over and over again until you fall asleep and there is no belief required for you. you don't need to force yourself to believe it you don't need to force yourself to visualize it to crystal clear image you don't have to do any of it all you have to do is get into a sleepy drowsy state and repeat your affirmation again and again and again i and i am telling you i'm telling you this method works like a charm why because you're already sleepy the resistance is minimal to no resistance at all and you you're not putting the conscious effort to imagine something you're not doing any of it and you're just repeating words like a programmer is typing a program you're reprogramming your subconscious mind over and over and over again you're pounding in your affirmation without any resistance without a guard dog guard dog barking at it that no it's not true it's not true and this affirmation will sink into your subconscious mind without any problem without any hindrance or resistance and then the belief is not required because your subconscious mind will change you it will change you according to your affirmation in your days to come and if if you are if you're saying i am a rich person i'm a wealthy person well in your day to day time daytime your conscious mind might reject it but in your coming days it will, will no longer because your program has changed you are a wealthy person your subconscious mind will change you it will change you into that person who has that desire so belief is not required in your day to day time you just forget about it you affirm in at the night or in the day and you then you forget about it you don't have to repeat it all day long so if you want to, a specific person or you want to feel love you just say i am loved i am loved in that sleepy drowsy state and repeat it don't think about it no need to conjure up some feelings or anything just go to sleep affirming this way and it is guaranteed to work i've been doing it for a very long time but i was i was I was kind of skeptical to as to I I did not know why they put so much emphasis on sleepy drowsy state but I was doing it all along anyways and the but I I'm still opposed to the idea 
that affirming like a parrot in day in daytime like i'm a rich i'm a millionaire i'm this or i'm wealthy it does not work it 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 backfires why because your conscious mind is too awake it is too dominant and it will reject or it and the, in that rejection you will feel bad you will feel worse and so the affirmation backfires you feel more and more poor it's like it's similar to like i am when you are feeling sad or depressed and you are pounding in by saying i am happy i am happy i am happy you feel worse you feel worse this is why i was skeptical of the idea about why so many teachers on youtube are saying that you should just binge affirm all day long all the time uh, technically again it might work because when you are affirming so much eventually the guard dog like gives up right eventually it's like my god this this person will not stop so might as well just give up trying to reject this affirmation and it might still reprogram your subconscious but this is a painful way it is a long and hard way of you know grinding and chasing your manifestation and i do not recommend it so i will still say that repeating like a parrot all day long is not the best way to do it but but the, how the masters have been pointing us for so long that get into a sleepy, drowsy state and then repeat, that is absolutely the perfect way to reprogram your subconscious mind. And that way works. Belief is not required. Faith is not required. Conscious effort is not required. All, you, all that is required of you is to get into a sleepy, drowsy state and just affirm away and fall asleep to that beautiful affirmation feeling will come emotions will come you don't have to conjure them either and you don't have to force belief either so this i absolutely i was like uh, yesterday i was listening to dr joseph's videos and i was like yes this is the easiest way why are we going about in the circles trying to manifest trying to conjure the feeling trying to believe very hard and we are I'm, I'm telling you, if it is hard, it's probably not the right way. And effortless, uh, manifestation is effortless. Whatever I have manifested, now that I look at, back at it, it was effortless. And whenever there is effort, effort required, know that your conscious mind is hindrance. And you got to put that to sleep and then do your processes. So listen to the masters. Put yourself into this sleepy drowsy state and then do whatever technique you want to do and it will work belief is not required this is it for this video until next time bye bye